illustrated in the coach. Um, as well as this year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's also an actress, so let's bring her out. Kathy Ireland. Well, thank you very much. I, I was listening to a model interview the other day, and they asked her what her flaws were. And uh, I thought it was an interesting question. What do you think your flaws are? Well, um, there's a, a couple. I don't really want to call too much attention to them, because as a model, our big job is, is to hide those things. Yeah. But one thing that I always thought it was strange, I never thought I could be a model, because I have so many scars on my legs. Oh. From various... I'm a little bit accident-prone. Yeah. So, I have, um, <clears throat> but I've grown to like them because I think they kind of add a little bit of character. Absolutely. And, um, and I keep adding new ones to them. But I've got, I've got some interesting ones. I have one from a skiing accident, one from recently crashing my mountain bike, and a recent um, surfing accident. So. Very athletic yeah. girl. I try. Yeah. yeah, I saw you in a movie about football where you kicked field goals. Yeah, yeah, that was great. I got to learn how to play football which was a new sport for me, and, um, and it was fun. It was fun making it. What does your husband do? My husband's a doctor. Oh, okay. What kind of doctor? Emergency room. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So he can take care of me when I get hurt. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'd like to mend your scars. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> how long have you been married? Four years. Oh, that's good. Very good. Um, we should talk about Sports Illustrated a little bit. Isn't it unusual to be on so many times? It is unusual. I mean, I'm, I'm always flattered and surprised every year when they ask me back. <clears throat> I've been doing it for nine years now. And, uh, but it's always a great job working for them. I've gotten the opportunity to visit places that I hadn't even heard of before. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we go to third world countries, which is something I love. I just love the people. They're so unspoiled and the places are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the woman, Julie Campbell, who's in charge of it, one thing that's really great that she does, she brings cases of Polaroid film with her. And we'll go into these villages and the people are just freaking out. I mean, most of them have never seen people with light eyes and light hair before, so they're mm -hmm. just staring at us, checking us out, wondering what we're all about. And she'll take a picture of them and give it to them. And they're looking at it, and to see the expression on their face when they see it develop before their eyes is just priceless because they've never seen a photograph of themselves before. And soon, the whole village will be gathered around, and the photographer will be getting a little bit nervous because he wants to go take pictures, but we don't leave until everyone in the village has a, a Polaroid picture of themselves. So it's, it's fun. I've gotten to a chance to meet a lot of interesting people through them. Yeah. How much longer do you want to do this modeling? Thing? Modeling? Modeling's been great for me. I've been doing it for 11 years, mm -hmm. and I'm concentrating on getting more into acting, but I'm still doing some modeling. I recently signed a deal with Anheuser-Busch, so I'm doing their No When to Say When campaign and mm -hmm. working for their muscular dystrophy program mm -hmm. as well as St. Patrick's Day. And, um, and so I'm still going to continue with people who I like. But Can I ask how old you are? 29. 29. How'd you get into modeling in the first place? Well, it was kind of by accident, really. I actually was planning on being a ski lift operator. Oh, yeah, it's nice to set your goals high. Yeah. <laughs> well, ski lift operator, I, I was eventually going to take over the mountain, but I was going to start out like that. But um, I was either going to be a ski lift operator or my big hero was Jacques Cousteau. And I thought, you know, when he retired, I might take over his his job but modeling what does he do well what, he, and, and he has a show but well, i guess he's in water documentaries yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> don't have many of those guys around no i, I don't know i thought i could be the female john Cousteau. yeah and you love water yeah i love the ocean so maybe someday yeah i'm sure you can do anything you want to do well thank you <laughs> <laughs> but go on i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt um oh no just by accident a scout saw me and asked me if I would like to come to New York for the summer. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Santa Barbara. And at that age, I used to just count down the days till summer vacation. And it was like 
210 days till summer vacation, and would you like to go to New York for the summer? And I just said, thank you, but no thank you. It didn't really sound like a good time. So, um, but they kept calling, and they said they would advance me the money if I would like to go. And I thought, well, it's an opportunity. I better check it out and yeah. see. And I tried it, and it's, it's been very interesting. You remember your first job ever in life? Um, yeah. <laughs> Any job? Yeah. Oh, my, fir my first job in life, my first real paying job was a paper route. Um, really? Yeah, I was, I was 11 years old, and I remember I was really angry because I couldn't wait to be 11 and a half so I could get this route. And my dad showed me this ad in the newspaper, and it said, are you the boy for the job? And I was so mad, I wrote a letter to the news press, and I said, I'm not the boy for the job, but I'm the girl for the job. I can do it just as well as any boy can. Yeah! 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 <laughs> so, um, I wrote, I wrote a letter to the news press, and, and they gave me the route. And the first day, I was so upset. It was New Year's Day, so they had an extra large newspaper with yeah. all these inserts in them. And I was really skinny and scrawny little kid, and I think I kind of overestimated myself, thinking that I could take on this big route. I had 101 papers, and they have those sacks where they put papers in the front and papers in the back, and you have to wear it, and then you have another one that goes like on the back of your bicycle. And I couldn't lift it up in my belly and stick my head through, and then try to stand up. And then I'd ride my bicycle, and as I would throw the papers out of the front, it would slide back and choke me, and I'd flip over on my bike. <laughs> and I, oh, I, I remember I cried the first day, and these people would come out of their houses, and they'd say, a boy should be doing this. You, you're never going to last. But I kept it for three and a half years, so I showed them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy being a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> um, you actually have a project we should talk about, and we have a clip. Uh, it's a Tales from the Crypt, right? Tales from the Crypt, right. Uh, what do you play in it? I play... A, an aspiring actress and myself and Mimi Rogers characters were roommates and my I happened to be getting all the jobs and I also happened to kind of fall in love with producers and directors and people like that but um, she's really angry with me because I'm getting all the work and she's not okay Sandy uh, let's look at her clip Might as well be fat and miserable Helen I don't know what you're talking about uh-huh why is it that every time somebody gets really close to casting me, you suddenly show up with your legs spread? Never done that. And that's my ice cream. So? So that's okay. I didn't like that flavor very much anyway. <coughs> oh. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, it's coming up this month. Right, it's coming up um, this, I believe. Yeah, you should check your listing, though, because they repeat those a lot. Yeah, a few times. Okay, but it's HBO, and that's what's important. Uh, Tales from the Crypt. This is Kathy Ireland. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>